Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you for stopping by. My name is Stacy. If you are new, welcome. And in today's video, I'm just going to show you how I got this look. It took me under 15 minutes. So if you're interested, keep watching. Okay guys, so just starting out, I already have my foundation and eyebrows done. I use this L'Oreal Infallible Matte Foundation. Next, I'm just taking this concealer and putting it under my eyes and blending it with a big brush. For my eyebrows, I used an Ulta brand eyebrow pencil along with e.l.f. eyebrow powder. And this concealer that I'm using is Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. To set that concealer, I'm just taking this Ulta Brand White Eyeshadow. And I'm keeping this all in real time just so you can see how long it did take me to get ready. The only thing, again, that I did off camera is my foundation eyebrows, mascara, and blow dried my hair. So all that combined was probably an extra few minutes. And next I'm just gonna warm up my face with some bronzer. Here I'm using Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer. And next I'm just adding some color to my face by putting on some of this peach blush. This is perfect for summertime. And to add a little bit of shimmer to my face, I'm using this Wet n Wild Cream Highlight. Cream products work really good in the summertime. And my son just heard me say Wet n Wild, which is a water park here in the state of Arizona. So he got a little excited. And just to add a little bit of shimmer to my eyes, I'm taking this Essence eyeshadow and applying it to my top lid. It's real subtle, so you probably can't even tell in the camera. Next, I'm just taking a regular cold black eyeliner pencil and lining my waterline. I'm not even sure what brand this is. I think I got it in an Ipsy bag a while ago. And then one cool trick that I learned over the years is to tight line your upper lash line is just blink really hard and that black eyeliner will transfer to the top. Then I'm just taking a tiny amount on my upper lid and smudging some up there and then creating just a tiny little wing. Nothing fancy, it's actually a little messy, but this just helps elongate my eyes because they're nice and round. And you won't even notice once I put mascara on. So now I'm just curling my eyelashes, and again, I do my mascara off the camera. Then 
the mascara that I'm using and that I've been loving lately is this Maybelline Lash Sensational. I just got it like a few months ago and it's been my new favorite. And now for lips, I'm just taking this lip liner. It's a mauve color. I'm not sure the brand or the color. Just outlining my lips. And then after that, I will be taking an e.l.f. lip oil in the shade Pink Kiss. These are a new purchase for me. I got three different shades and so far I'm loving them. And the makeup look is complete. Next, moving on to hair. So after I blue dry my hair, I'm just going to go ahead and straighten out my bangs before I start to curl it. Before I apply any heat, I'm going to go ahead and spray some of this leave-in conditioner in my hair. I purchased this Aussie leave-in conditioner at one time and after running out I actually used the three minute Aussie leave-in conditioner so I just use that bottle and make my own leave-in conditioner. I fill most of it up with water and then just squirt a little bit of conditioner in there and it works just the same. Now I'm just sectioning off my hair which I do every time I curl it and I always start with the bottom layer. And to curl my hair this time, I'm just taking this Conair 1 inch curling iron. This thing gets super hot and works really well and holds the curl in my hair. I have really thin, fine hair, so I'm just going to take large sections and I'm curling away from my face. So just starting in the back, I clamp it and roll it around and I try to keep the curling iron moving so not to leave it too long on my hair so that it gets too hot. I do about three sections on each side and I try to leave the ends out. Just moving on to the top section, I do the same thing. I start in the back and work my way forward. I do have another get ready with me video on my channel and in that video I show you how I curl my hair with a flat iron which is most of the time how I style my hair however every now and again I like to use a curling iron 
just because it gives me a little bit different type of curl and they last really long. So again, this look takes about 15 minutes, give or take a few. Um, I do spend time showing you guys the products that I'm using in the video, but I did do my foundation, eyebrows, mascara, and blow dried my hair off camera. So that did add a few extra minutes to this. Just running the straightener through my bangs once more just to blend them a little bit better into my hair. Then I'm gonna set it with some hairspray. And here I'm using the Tresemme aerosol. After spraying it with a little bit of the hairspray, I just finger comb through my hair. And I could leave it like this, but I like to add a little bit of extra volume on top. So I take my pick, or you can use a wide tooth comb, and I just gently tease the top section of it to give me some height. And again, just once more, setting it with a little bit of hairspray. I just check the back with the mirror. And that is the final look. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Super simple, 15 minute get ready with me. Hopefully you found it helpful and learned something new. If you did, please consider subscribing to my channel. I do all different videos. I hope you've enjoyed this one. See you guys in the next one. Bye guys.